Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing the PlayStation 4 edition of Minecraft, and the reason I'm doing that is because I like to review every single texture pack or mashup pack that comes out for Minecraft console. However, back when the uh, Little Big Planet mashup pack did come out, it is a PlayStation exclusive, and it came out when I didn't have a PS4. So I didn't get around to it at the time, and I recently asked if I should get around to it. Now I do have a PS4, and people overwhelmingly said, yes, better late than never. So today I have a Little Big Planet mashup pack review. Uh, if you do like the idea of this video, please do like it and let me know. It helps out the channel a lot and let's know do like it and I will be reviewing the entire mashup pack because I don't have my Xbox world so that includes the texture pack but also the mashup pack world the music that comes with it the skin pack and just everything you can possibly get from this thing all in one video so hopefully yeah this is the sort of thing you're liking um, and uh, the first thing we'll start with because you can actually hear it on the loading screen here or even a second before the loading screen starts and that is the music the music is one of my favorite things about this I haven't actually played any of the Little Planet games for any amount of time but just just how happy this music is and the fact that you spawn in this area which is kind of dark just a random globe on the wall over there and just this amazingly happy music it makes it feel like an entirely different game but in a good way because it's all so still familiar but it just feels so great and it's really really cool so I, I had a really great impression of the music at start and it just gave me this great mood going into it uh, and a big smile on my face which is always good but uh, moving on from that let's talk about the world itself because that's obviously what we spawned in and what we're gonna have to do uh, basically like the uh, Halo mashup pack the Xbox exclusive one instead of being one big world this is six separate areas from the little bit planet universe or six levels uh, as you can see if we look around they've all got signs we can take them to so we've got the frozen tundra sensei's lost castle uh, boomtown etc etc and you can go and buy a minecart to any of these six destinations by just following them along so uh, yeah this is a cool way to do it because each of these six areas is actually pretty cool by themselves but when you consider the six of them all in one map it makes it really cool because uh, this is a mashup pack that I assume is meant to be played with lots of people so let's just go down one of these just so I can show you what I mean by that because um Although it looks really cool and it's got all the elements of a regular mashup pack where there's just so many cool builds around the place, uh, you know, cool things to do, the music uh, disc quest to do. Uh, this one kind of appreciates that there's more to Minecraft than, you know, just those things, especially in a mashup pack. And this is an amazingly fun one to play with friends because of the fact that it kind of makes you competitive with each other. Because Little Big Planet is, of course, some degree of platforming in the game. Uh, this is how the levels are all structured. So you got to, you know, go around, platform with them. And it's clearly designed to make you competitive with your friends in a way that I can imagine makes for some really good fun. Because you can play with up to eight players the map set up that way uh, but if you want to just play with like two or three of you and just you know kind of compete so you can get to the end of the level first it's still got you know the insane fun of doing that and even some replayability because it once you learn the challenges you can be able to do it first time and that's what I think is the genius in this uh, mashup pack it's it's so happy it's so fun and then it's so great to play with friends and those are things you want again so like I mentioned there's uh, eight separate beds and then two under chests and once you all decide to go you open the door and you all run out and you decide to compete so yeah if you look around this place it's amazing you know, just the way the whole thing looks in general. Uh, because the really cool thing about a mashup pack is, even though the text pack can be a bit, you know, kind of janky when you use it in the real world, because some of the blocks are just all over the place, when you do decide to use the block um, as part of a mashup pack, uh, because the art team obviously can make the blocks, uh, that means you get some really cool things, uh, you know, like they, they can make some really cool builds because they control the blocks too, and that is kind of cool by itself, so of course I'll be mentioning that when the text pack that comes out, but to kind of talk more about the mashup pack, uh, you can see here like uh, these arrows which keep leading you around, and there's some fun platforming challenges, which although they're not amazingly complex, as you're seeing here, oh, I'm going to do this, aren't I? Wait, can we? Oh, yeah, we did it! First time, I think. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing. But yeah, so you can see there's arrows which will lead you around. So there's never a moment where you're lost or confused, but you can just have fun like racing your friends through these levels and that's really great to me because even if you're not great at parkour, you don't need to be to do these levels. Like you, you look here and you're like, oh, I can't go through the door. Aha, there is a lever. And it, it, it seems really simple, but when you're trying to do this at high speed with your friends, it can be that sort of fun thing. So. Next up, we've got a tripwire, which I don't know if we should try and avoid. Okay, we didn't avoid that at all. And, of course, it makes apples fly from the sky, because that makes total sense. But, yeah, um, so let's... Um also, these are the apple texture in my inventory, if you're wondering. Uh, but yeah, if we just get up to that thing, it looks like we have to stand that pressure plate to complete the level and move on to the next one. So yeah, there's a bunch of cool... Uh, I'm <laughs> we'll give it one more try and then I'll just uh, fix the thing. There's a bunch of levels like this. Like I said, there's six. And this uh, you know, second part of the level is still just part of the same level thing. So there's lots of just fun little challenges to do with your friends. And that's what I really, really love about this. So now we're going to make our way through the castle. Once we beat the castle, I'll just show you the end of it rather than going through it. You get over here. And uh, as a reward for doing the entire thing, uh, whoever gets here first... 
gets the music disc. So uh, the music discs are also working as a way of keeping score here, whereas the most is obviously doing the best, and that's something I really like about that. So there's also a slide here that I really need to try because it just looks like it might be fun, or maybe it's doing nothing. But anyway, let's go down the slide in our minecart. <laughs> uh, yay! And then, and oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so you can see uh, this is just one of the six levels. I'll show you a few of the others. But basically, you just need to bear in mind if you like your little planet, if you played a lot of the games, you'll recognize a lot of what's going on, and it's really cool in that way. So yeah, um, I think. Wait, do we stand on this? Oh, it's our fireworks. Yeah, we did it. We won. Awesome. But yeah, so moving on from this, uh, you can see uh, there is, I think, uh, over here, this is the frozen tundra level. Also, there's just random pixel arts of these sack boys and stuff around the map, which, of course, I can appreciate uh, liking and stuff. But uh, uh, next up, we have uh, these frozen tundras. So, uh, like I said, they've all got their cool parkour challenges to do with your friends and, you know, kind of keep fun. Like, okay, so one of you takes the left path, one of you takes the right path, and just, you know, doing this little icy thing, it's reasonably easy. But again, trying to do it at speed, that's where the fun comes in. And that's why I think this is a, a really, really smart mashup pack. It, it makes it, you know, not only a fun thing to do by yourself, but an amazing experience with friends, which is something the other mashup packs, uh, particularly the Greek mashup pack, which I think is one of my other favorites, uh, hasn't done particularly well. And that, I, I really, really like this for doing that. So yeah, um, you can see that there's a bunch of levels like this. I'll show you a few around the place. Uh, but mostly they're just cool builds to look at. They're fun to explore to get the music discs and stuff like this. So over here you can see there's another one. And uh, I'll show you some more stuff to do that later. But let's move on to the texture pack. Because the texture pack you've been seeing it this whole time as I show you the mashup pack world. It's one of those things where you're like, so what's going on with this? What's what's your verdict? Is it worth using as a texture pack? And my opinion on that one is it's almost worth using as a texture pack. The, the thing is, uh, for specific builds, this is a great texture pack. But for an overall use one, I don't think this is one you want to use every day, which is true for a lot of uh, pretty much every mashup pack. Even the Greek mythology one is kind of edgy on that way because if you look around the place, like some of the blocks are really, really cool to look at. Like you look at the uh, fact that sand is red sand and red sandstone, and that's really cool. You can make some amazing desert environments like this. But then you look at some of the blocks, and it's like, oh, okay, then I guess we can't use that. Like the, the for instance, uh, one of my uh, one of my biggest pet peeves with this uh, texture pack is it's got to be the wool, the stained clay, and the stained glass. Which of course, instead of just being different colors, a different pattern, which means you can't make any pixelarty things. You can't make any colorful building that you know that actually makes sense with more than one color. And that's always kind of a shame for texture pack. But there are some things I really do like about this texture pack that you can place, including melons. But look how happy these melon blocks are. Jack o' lanterns. I really do like the beacons and the way emeralds look like. Just look at these blocks. Also beds, also jungle wood. I mean, this for the most part, this is a novelty thing. Like for specific, like if you want to set up a world where everything seems different, the fact that jungle wood is this dark green, the fact that sand is red sandstone, means you can kind of get like a future experience in the current Minecraft, which I think is uh, kind of what I recommend using uh, the thing for. Because naturally, the texture pack doesn't do too badly. Like I mentioned, the desert, the biggest change where it's actually red sand and sandstone instead of thing. Uh, but the uh, the mushroom, the mushroom biome, it's got like a weird kind of icy blue color to it, which is. Uh, it's very weird to look at. Uh, plains, forests, and jungles. Even though jungle wood is green, the outside of jungles still look the same. And so do, you know, icy biomes. They still look like they're just, you know, snowy and stuff. And uh, it's, it's nice for the most part. Like, you can you can look at this and you can understand and you don't get confused and stuff, which is awesome. You look at the jungle and it's the same. You, it's not confusing. You can just see what's going on you and it makes sense. Uh, it's very, very green when you're inside here, but that's true for regular jungle too. And uh, yeah, in general, like the natural world, it's not as bad as most texture packs, uh, but there is a few changes which you might not like if you don't like the reddish look to the desert biome, then that can, can be kind of off-putting. But to me, if you like red sandstone and you've, you've been looking forward to it, this is kind of an, uh, an opportunity to experience it early, which I think is a nice little touch. So yeah, that's that. So, uh, my favorite parts of the texture pack have to be uh, stuff like the beds, because just, just look at this uh, thing. Uh, stuff like the acacia wood, if you're in creative. Stuff like, you know, just the wacky colors. I, I really, really like it. Like, I, I, I've mentioned what I like for the most part, and that's cool. But, one thing uh, when it comes to a texture pack that's really cool that most texture packs kind of either have a letdown on, or have some weird, weird things on, it's probably this texture pack's strongest suit. So first we'll look at the nether portal. Look how just amazingly cool it is. But let's go into the nether. And let's show you what I think is uh, one of the really cool parts of this texture pack. And that is going to be just so many of these different nether textures. So uh, if you look around here. For some reason it's super dark. Uh, you'll notice, by the way, that there uh, this does have its own uh, Never uh, texture pack music, which is really cool and fits the theme you want for Never, if it starts playing, that is. Um, but yeah, if we look around the place, you can see it's got some amazing textures. So, uh, obviously, Never Rack is kind of okay, and uh, Never Brick is kind of okay too. But if you look at Soul Sand, it's just got stars in it. And I really, really like this texture, because it, it just has stars in it. Uh, you look at the glowstone up here, and it's, it's got a face on it. And it's it's I, I this is my favorite glowstone texture. That's my favorite Soul Sand texture. And just in general, I really do like the nether like i feel like 
the music's not playing right now because it wants to prove me wrong. But I feel like when the music's playing, this is the perfect texture pack for the Nether. Because you understand what your stuff looks like. And it means you don't have to worry too much with it. So, uh, now we're just going to have some different overworld music playing, because it refuses to play never music for me. Um, but yeah, to move on, uh, just, you know, to the final part of the text pack, which is, uh, like, of course, uh, going to have to be the tooly stuff, and then the end. Uh, basically, one thing I really, really l uh, do like about this is the fact that all these suits are different and then make sense. Like, uh, the iron suit is an astronaut suit. So you can see this is iron, but it's just still really cool to be an astronaut in Minecraft. The swords all make sense, and most of the equipment makes sense. But the one big downside on that is the iron, uh, diamond equipment, is that of being, you know, the colour that it actually is, it's bright green for some reason. Just just look at it. Like, this is me wearing diamond and iron, and I, I don't know, for the most part, I don't like an attack pack. It, it kind of ruins the PvP potential when you can't tell what colour of arms I'm wearing, because it removes a lot of information from you. So, obviously, you could just remember that green is diamond, but, you know, most people don't play text packs all the time. They play them as a one-off, and that means that, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's not a great text pack for PvP, and uh, if you like your, your bosses, then we'll go to the end. And let's show you what that looks like, shall we? So, uh, yeah, I really like the end stone. It looks like this cool disco ball-y kind of texture with just random colors everywhere. Uh, and the rest of it, it's just kind of standard. You look at the ender dragon up there, and it's like, oh, he's kind of cool, I guess. You look at the, the, the end beacons, you're like, oh. They're kind of cool, I guess. And uh, I don't think anything's particularly amazing here. I think the end dragon looks cool, but he always does. Uh, he doesn't look, uh, you know, amazingly cool, though. And uh, really, the end is amazing for endstone. And not too, really much, too much else besides that. I, I wouldn't recommend fighting the end dragon in this text pack, personally. But, of course, that's just me. So, um, next up, we're going to just uh, kind of finish up with what's going on here. So what is the overall impression of, and also if you want to see the skins, I'll show you that while I'm talking about this. So my overall impression, uh, where is it? Uh, my overall impression of uh, the Lispic Planet um, Bishop pack is that it's a really, really fun time if you have friends you want to play with. Like, um, like I mentioned, I think only one of you needs to have the mashup pack. Everyone else can just join in because you don't need to save. And you can have a really fun competitive time playing the mashup pack once, going through each of them. And then, if uh, you know, if you have enough fun, you can even go through and do them again. There's enough challenges around here that I think it'd be fun enough to do a second attempt at this and do all that sort of stuff. And you can do the music disc while uh, death quest while attempting that. And if Little Big Planet is your favorite game, this is the best mashup pack by far. It's an amazing mashup pack, and it either takes first or second among, among mashup packs anyway. But if you like Little Big Planet, this is, this has to be a must purchase. It's two pounds something or three dollars something, and that's just such amazing value for what you get out of the game. Really, like I I, I think the amount of fun I've had even just playing by myself and doing these levels it just, you know it just puts a smile on my face every time i open it and it's really great in that way as a texture pack this is not worth buying in my opinion it's got nice bits to it and i think if you really do desire them and you're like a builder that has most of the texture packs i can kind of see why you'd want this but as a standalone texture pack, I, 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 I would only use this as a texture pack to get the music in survival, because uh, it, it kind of works. Like, uh, some of the, you know, the menus are really, really nice, the, uh, the the swords are really, really nice, the cursor's nice, but just a lot of the blocks are just off in a way that really uh, puts me off. Like, the stained glass, uh, stained clay and wolfing, oh, I guess you can't use those. And there's just a lot of other weird things like that to me that are kind of off-putting. So, uh, yeah, my overall verdict on this is it's a very good, uh, it's a very good mashup pack, and it's a very below average average uh, texture pack so if you want a good mashup pack and or you just want to play something fun with friends then definitely give this a go it's amazing fun and i think like because you uh you can actually play the trial with friends maybe even uh it might be worth just giving it a try and you know seeing what you can do there and uh, i'd say it's definitely worth the money if you don't want to do this so this is a sheep by the way that looks like it has salmon on its head for some reason but yeah i hope you did enjoy the video if you did like it please do like it and let me know Share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, covering every aspect of Minecraft console you might want to know about. And uh, basically, uh, I'd like to know about your opinions on this as well, because uh, my opinion, of course, I've just stated it. But, you know, I want to hear about what you have to say. Do you think this is the best? Do you think it's the worst? Because, insert reason here, I'd love to know what you have to say in the comments down below. I obviously read those and uh, keep up staying that stuff. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all. Uh, oh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.